that we all have everything. I'll have a record of everything here. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to go into the image mapping. We're going to pick the photo that we just had with the mm -hmm. drone. We're going to choose that photo. We're lined up like I wanted to line up. We're going to put our zero point right in the floor. So that's going to be basically here. It's going to look like it's in on the roof, but it's actually, uh, and you can make a notation, I'll do that also. Uh, and I'm going to make sure I've got this starting out at zero. If you sway it just a little bit, you can, you can make it shift about a sixteenth of an inch. I'm going to drop that zero reading in there. Then I'm going to add a comment. Zero button, floor of garage, just inside side door. Now it stored that comment in the, in the, mm -hmm. in the Excel spreadsheet so we'll know what we got there. Now I'm going to go back up. Actually, I can start. I'll just start from here and work my way out. All right, so from here, we're going to go over to this first cone. It's right outside the door. See where we are there? Mm -hmm. And that's gone downhill, not quite four inches. So it dropped that reading in. Then, I'm going to go I'm going to go right to the edge of the building here. Right here. And that's going to be about the same as the reading we had over here. Now, we'll take it straight out to yeah, I kind of watch so I don't move the cones around, if you don't mind. So you think this is as far down this way as you're going to need to be? Yeah. All right. Yeah, there you go. It's okay. Just leave her laying there. We're going to, we'll untangle it and wiggle around here. When somebody's moving your tubing, be sure to know. It's like, yeah, it changes the readings a little bit when somebody's messing with your tubing. So we're downhill here just a okay. inch and a half or so. Then we'll just work our way right up here. Actually, I'm going to come across. Yeah, I'm just going to work this back and forth. That'll work fine. You can see this one right here going to be, we're already coming uphill quite a bit, four feet. And these little cones, the way they're shaped, the tubing tries to just go right over the top of them. That's why one of the, one of the reasons I like these. And we'll come up to here. You see where I got a little reading here. We're up 78 inches here. You know, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to come up right up to the top of this also and grab a reading here. Because we got a good visual where we are. We're up to 90, almost 95 inches here. I'm going to come over to here since we got this. We'll drop down right off to the side. See, I don't have a cone here, but it's pretty easy to tell where I am. So we're at 74 inches here. Well, I should. It'll make this a little more stable if you put the tubing in this little Velcro here. That way it's following you around a little better. Mike, you design all this? Mm -hmm. Yep. My man. Yeah, this is all my baby. All right, now on this one, yeah, that's this cone here. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
two. All right. Now, there. I work back and forth in kind of a little zigzag pattern. I makes it easier to keep up with everything. All right, yeah, so you can see here where we are. Mm -hmm. This is the one right here. Blow that up. You can blow it up a little bigger. You can make it. It doesn't like my fingers this morning. 23 inches. Then we'll shoot over to... Yeah, you can imagine if you're surveying how much trouble this would be if you had a transit right now. You know, right here, you've got a... You got a photograph, and we're dropping the readings right into a photograph. I mean, that's easy peasy. You know, you just, yeah. you know, you could be doing this the same as me. It's, there's not really nothing to it. What I tell people to do is when they're learning, do it in their backyard. Don't do it on the job like this to start with. That way, you know, every, you know, take six or eight readings, make sure you know how to save them, make sure you know how to save them and, uh, and send them and all that kind of stuff. Because you don't want to knock out, you know, this is maybe take mm -hmm. 45 minutes or so. You don't want to spend that much time and then all of a sudden lose your readings because you didn't save it like you should have. Let's see. While I'm here, and say, right here, there's no question where we are. Right. You don't, we don't have to have a cone here, and I'm going to go ahead and drop one in here just so to. And if you drop one in, you don't mean to. you got an undo button up here. You can take it out. Perfect. And you can take all of them out if you want to. It'll go back and take as many out as you want to. Over here by the air conditioner. So it's really, there's really not much to it. I know, just kind of playing with it and just getting familiarized with it. Yep. And I guess the main focus is the starting point, right? You know, all of your readings are relative. Uh, and I've got a function in here now where I can take the highest reading. If you want all of them to go the same direction, I can hit this and it will make your zero point the highest one and recalculate everything else. Or it'll make your, your zero point the lowest one and recalculate everything above it. So uh, you don't even have to worry about where you're starting now. Uh -huh. You do need, uh, I like to have a good reference, uh, like the garage floor that's not going anywhere mm -hmm. because that way you've always got something to come back to. That's okay, I'll, I'll flip it. See, it flipped right over the top of it. Didn't make any difference at all. Uh, let's see. I'm going to get this one down here while I'm here. So, yeah, so it, the main thing is start with a reference point that's not going anywhere. You don't want a random point out here. Like one of these things, I don't know what those are, but evidently they're going to stay put. Yeah. You can make your reference point. You could zero that and mark that as your reference. But you don't want something like a stake that somebody can pull up and put back in a different point. I was up at, uh, well, I, I was at a, a training seminar recently and a guy kicked the, the, the string and pulled a stake out of the ground and he looked around to make sure nobody was looking and he just put it back in the ground and he didn't know where it came from or what height it was or anything and I'm thinking dude you just screwed this whole job up <laughs> yeah so uh and your crew will do that too if you don't watch yeah. them you know yeah. So, but if you got you know that garage floor is not going anywhere there's nothing you can do it's going to change the, the elevation of that garage floor so that's a good starting point that you've got that you know is going to stay there. So right here we're 50 inches. We were about like 95 inches higher up there. We're 52 inches lower here. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and pop over as I'm going and get these two things, whatever the heck they are. What are these things anyway? Is it drain? I think there might be, um, what do you call it, the septic tanks. Man, they put a big system in if they did. Yeah. It may not be just for this. Well, it may just be, yeah, I think it's just for this house. Man. Yeah. And when you're taking these readings, mm -hmm. typically what I'll do, uh, like I'm going to set it on top here. Mm -hmm. And see how it's changing a little bit? It's going, it's settling out. Once it hits the same reading twice, you're good. See how it leveled out there mm -hmm. at 10 and 3 eighths? Once it does that, that's, you're, you're pretty close to where Man, you want to be. Thing is smart, yeah, yeah. It was named appropriately. So you can't 
came up with the idea and you had somebody kind of build it for you, is that what you said? You know, uh, yes, I came up with, with what I wanted the level to do. Uh -huh. And then I've hired engineers and you have to watch them like a hawk because what I want to do and what they want, a lot of times they don't understand. I mean, these engineers are people that typically don't work out in the field at all. Mm -hmm. So they have no idea when I tell them what I want. I mean, they'll argue with me. They'll say, you know, you don't need this. You don't need that. Why do you want this? It's a, uh, and some of it's good. Some of the times they make a valid point. Most of the time they just don't know what they're, they just don't understand what they're looking at. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult interfacing and you've got like six teams. So you've got one team that wants to do it one way, one team that wants to do it another way. Uh, neither team no, wants to do it the way I want to do it. So it's, uh, it's challenging. There's been times where if I was in the same, luckily most of the time they're in different states. There's been times where if I was in the same state with them, I would have driven over and strangled them and buried them in the backyard. <laughs> I mean, you just get, you get so mad you lay awake at night and you can't sleep thinking, how am I going to, get this engineered like I want it to be. And they, of course, think I'm an unbelievable perfectionist, which I am. But that's what it takes to make something like this work. Right, right. If you're not, it, you'll never get it. I, I call myself a recovering perfectionist because perfectionists typically don't get anything done because they want everything, you, and you'll never get it perfect. You get it as close to perfect as you, mm -hmm. as you can reasonably acquire it. Then you grit your teeth and go on. This is the one right here. Slightly up from the house. This is the one over here. down in this little swell. I'll see it bouncing at 27, 5 sixteenths. That's pretty close to where we're going to be. Now, there is all of our readings dropped in. Has that covered the area pretty much like you think we need it? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, the, in order to scale this, we need one known distance. And you can do that a number of ways. One is measure from the end of this building to the, to the front of it up there. It'd probably be easier to measure it right across the, right across the front edge. Uh, so I'll, I'll show you how we do that in just a second. Make sure we got all our readings dropped in here. That's just, that's going to give you a pretty good idea of what you got right there. I'll do a screenshot. Next little over there. That's an old habit doing screenshots mm -hmm. from when I was developing apps in beta because sometime when you hit the next button, save, it wouldn't save it. And I lose it. <laughs> but that screenshot, I've got at least a crude idea of everything that I have. Now, what we, what I'm going to do now. I'm gonna measure, let's look at the front of this building up here. I think it'd probably be a good thing to, to measure across. We have to have, we've got all our height readings dropped in now. Mm -hmm. Now we have to have one ground reading. If you know that this distance across this building, what it is, you can enter that in the computer and it will figure it. Uh, I'm just gonna measure it out 
I'll show you how I do that. Let's see. Actually, it'd probably be easier to go right across the front. So we don't have to have the height in order to do that. What we'll do is I'm going to come right under the right under this outside of Eva, this building here, which is right here. I'm going to hit the augmented reality, and we'll go here. Now, what I've got to do is put my point on the ground directly under that. Mm -hmm. Just got to look at the ground and tell where we are. Sometimes with gravel and stuff, it takes a second. Okay, now I'm going to walk right down to the other edge over here. And that's pretty close right there. Now I'm going to move over to here. Drop that point in. And that's 329 inches across there. Okay. So that has scaled everything. You need one ground reading that where you know a distance from two points on the ground. Mm -hmm. So that's, that gives you all of your X and Y scale properly, and then you got the height dropped in. Now, we're going to save this information. And what is the name of this house? Did you say Cove? Cove? Yeah, C-E-O-V-E. Cove, there we go. Okay. And then I'm going to name this just Map 1. That way, if you have multiple, if we wanted to do that other side of the house, the backyard or what have you, if we come back and do that, we'll, we'll have them all in the same folder, but we'll have different mm -hmm. files. All right, so there's all of your readings dropped in. And we've got it saved. We can go back and look at it, and I can take this. I'm going to email it both to me. And what's your email? It's Ario A. A? a yep, yeah, letter A R A E L. There it is, right there. Oh, I got you in here, okay. And we'll name this. <laughs> and it's 57 megs, I'm not gonna send that, that's huge. That drone, that's the, that's the information that that drone says. We're going to go with large. That 6.6 .6 will probably come through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, ooh, we have, got a, we have got a pretty sunrise coming up over there. Then I'm going to take a couple of pictures of the sunrise. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gorgeous back here, man. Yeah, it's going to be a beautiful drive back home today.